In this video, we're going to be interpreting the coefficients for logistic regression in terms of odds and odds ratios. Um, so we have the R output here, um, and I think it helps to remember um, how our equation was set up. So remember, the response variable was transformed. So what we were really trying to predict here was the log odds. So we could write log odds and then use the regular um, linear form for the rest of the equation. Or if we wanted to go ahead and get the predicted odds by itself, then we could do e raised to this power, right? Because that would be the way to get odds by itself in this equation. Okay, so let's start with the intercept. Um, so in general, the intercept would be the predicted value when x equals zero, right? So in this case, um, when income equals zero, and we're predicting the odds, um, so we'll do odds, equals e to the negative 3.518, right, because we're plugging in zero and the rest of this expression goes away, um, then we end up getting 0 0.0297. So this would be um, the predicted odds of having a travel credit card when income is equal to zero, but just like with regular regression, um, zero isn't always a reasonable value, right? This would be extrapolation um, because there weren't any incomes that were close to zero in this data set. Interpreting the slope is a little bit more challenging, um, but again, it's related to um, the interpretation for simple linear regression. So usually we think of the slope as being how the predicted value changes for a one unit change in X. So let's um, plug in some values just to make it a little bit more concrete. Um, so let's look at when income equals 30, what would the predicted odds be? Okay, plug into that equation and the predicted odds would be 0.7005. And let's look at a one unit change. So let's compare this um, to what we would get if the income were equal to 29. Okay, so I'm using the same prediction equation, except this time I'm plugging in 29. And the predicted odds there would be 0.6304. Okay, so how are we getting from 29 to 30, right? How are we getting from this predicted value to this one? It helps to look at the odds ratio. I'm going to write it as OR. Um, so let's look at the predicted odds for um, an income of 30,000 compared to the predicted odds for an income of 29,000. So remember, when you're dividing and you have exponents, um, you're going to subtract the exponents. So when you subtract, the intercepts are going to cancel out. Um, 30 times 0 0.105 minus 29 times 0 0.105, um, you're left with just e to the 0 0.105. And that comes out to be 1.111. So notice this is our slope, right? This is a good way of thinking about what our slope is doing. So if you take e to the slope, um, that's giving you the odds ratio um, for a one unit change in X. Um, and notice if you were to take these predicted values themselves and divide them, um, you get the same number that way. So the way we interpret the slope um, is to say as income increases by one unit, and in this case the unit is a thousand euros since the data were in thousands, as income increases by one unit, the predicted odds are multiplied by this amount. So multiplied by e to whatever our slope is, in this case 0 0.1054 or 1.111. So this is different from um, a linear model because a one unit change in x doesn't cause an additive change in y, it causes a multiplicative change in y. 
So what does this look like when we have categorical predictors? Um, so for this one, we're going to go back to the example about um, carriers and secure or insecure attachment. Um, so here I have carrier soft. Um, so you can tell from this how the indicator variable is being defined, right? That must mean that um, one is going to be soft and zero is going to be plastic. So the one that's not mentioned, um, that's our reference category. So take a second, pause the video, um, and see if you can figure out how to translate these interpretations um, into a situation with a categorical predictor. <laughs> Sorry, that's my dog. So usually the way we would interpret the intercept um, is that the predicted odds when x equals zero is e raised to the power of the intercept. So what does it mean in this context when x equals zero? Right, x equals zero um, refers to the plastic group. So here we would say that the predicted odds of secure attachment, that's how we defined our success here, um, the predicted odds of secure attachment in the plastic carrier group is e to the intercept, so e to the negative 0.47, um, which comes out to be 0.625. And if we want to check our answers, um, we can look at the proportion of success. So we can do 10 out of 26, that's the um, proportion of secure attachments in the plastic group, over the proportion of failures. So that would be 16 out of 26. Um, and you can see these 26s cancel out, um, and that actually happens in general. Um, you can just use the ratio of the counts, um, and it comes out the same as the ratio of the proportions. So when we do 10 out of 16, we get 0.625, the same answer that we got earlier, um, just calculating from the table. Okay, what about the slope? Um, so we say as x increases by one unit, the predicted odds are multiplied by e raised to the power of the slope. So what does it mean for x to increase by one unit here, right? Basically, if you're going from 0 to 1, in this context, that means that you're going from plastic to soft, right? So you're seeing how the odds are going to change as you go from plastic to soft. Okay, so we would say the odds of secure attachment in the soft group are e to the slope, so e to the 2.0281, that's 7.6 times as high, remember this is how we interpret a, an odds ratio, times as high as the odds in the plastic group. And if we wanted to check our answers, we could find the odds of secure attachment in the soft group. So that'd be 19 to 4 over the odds of secure attachment in the plastic group. That would be 10 to 16. And it comes out to 7.6. So same answer either way.